Yes, thank you very much for the introduction. Also, I would like to thank the organizers for such a nice event and for their invitation. It's a pleasure. Today, I want to report on a joint work with Rasul Hafizi from Nanjing University of Information Science and Technology and Zohre Karimi from University of Islam. Let me start with some motivation. And let Landa be an art and algebra of finite representation type. And interesting question that was raised by Auslander is that when Auslander algebra of Landa is also a finite representation type. And the first answer to this question was raised by himself in 1971 in his Queen Mary College notes. He showed that this is the case if and only if T2 of Landa is a finite representation type. Where for a positive integer n, Tn lambda denotes the n by n lower triangular matrices. Then in the following paper, Auslander and Rayfen find some uh, sufficient conditions for T2 of lambda to be a finite representation type, because here they show that it is equivalent to the uh, answer of this question that when Auslander algebra is a finite representation type. For instance, they showed that when, if lambda is a radical x square zero Nakayama algebra, or if lambda is an algebra such that each indecomposable lambda module is projective or injective, then in these cases, T12 lambda is a finite representation type. It's interesting that they also showed that although it may happen, there are easy examples to see that T2, T12 lambda is a finite representation type. But if you repeat this argument three times for any algebra, it's always of infinite representation type. If you look at the literature, there is a long list of researches down in this direction. Here is an incomplete list of references I mentioned just here. So our aim in this talk is to contribute to this project and find some conditions for when T2 lambda is of finite representation type. Actually, we do this using the notion of Gormishland projective modules. The origin of this notion goes back to Auslander and Brichter in 1969. Uh, I just recall that uh, Landa module N is called Gormishland projective. They call it module in Auslander G class, or something like that. If there are few different names, the maximal coin macro modules or something for this kind of modules, depending on the setting. If it is isomorphic to a CCG of a totally asymmetric complex of finitely generated projective modules. And by a totally asymmetric complex, we mean a complex of finitely projective, finitely projective modules, which is acyclic and also remains acyclic after applying this functor. I mean, this induced complex also should be acyclic. All the CCGs are called Gornishtein projective. Uh, if we let uh, G lambda denotes the full subcategory of mod lambda consisting of all Gornishtein projective modules, then in case G of lambda is of finite type, I mean, up to isomorphism, and there are only finitely and indecomposable modules here in G lambda, then Belgians call such algebras algebras of finite co macaulay type. So if this is of a finite type, so it has an additive generator, let's call it G, and then consider the endomorphism algebra of G. This is denoted by Aus G of lambda and is called the cohen macaulay auslander algebra of lambda. It's easy to see that in case lambda is self-injective, then all modules are Gornishtein projective, Hence, or a self-injective algebra, self-injective algebra is of finite coin macaulay type, if and only if it is of finite representation type. But this is not the case when you pass through the to lower triangular matrix string, as this uh, easy example shows. If you consider lambda to be the um, quotient of this uh, polynomial algebra, it's known that this is representation finite self-injective algebra. But uh, using a result by Drozd and Mazachuk, 
One can see that the Ausländer algebra of lambda is a finite representation type. It can only yield n is less than equal to three. So by Auslander and Rayton result, T2 of lambda is a finite representation type. It can only yield n is less than equal to three. But Lee and Jean, they showed that for n is equal to four or five, T2 lambda is a finite, is an algebra of finite by Macaulay type. So for instance, for n equal to four, this algebra is of infinite representation type, but of finite coin Macaulay type. To prove our main results, we use heavily the techniques of functor category, uh, actually functor category techniques. And I do like to emphasize that I learned these techniques from Helmut Lenzi. Uh, I just mentioned two uh, easy functors uh, here that we uh, introduced in that. Uh, to prove our main results, if we consider LG of lambda to be the collection or uh, the subcategory of all left short left exact sequences, this means this should be mono and this should be exact with all terms in G of lambda, then we can apply Unida functor to this so using Unida lemma, and then we have uh, this exact sequence up to here. And then we can take the co-kernel and we have a functor from f to this to the functor category over g of lambda by f of g to be f sub g. Another functor that we define seems like new, that from functor category over g of lambda to mod g, this is also is defined using the unit functor very easily. And the joint work with uh, Hafez and Kishav as we showed that over one Wallerstein algebras, this functor is exact and at my left and fully faithful right adjoints. Now we can uh, say the main theorem actually recall that nu was a functor from uh, functor category of G of lambda to mod lambda. Actually, we showed that if lambda is a one Wallerstein algebra of finite coin Macaulay type, then the new inverse of G of lambda, G of lambda is a subcategory of mod lambda, of Gornstein projective ones. The new inverse here is of finite representation type or finite type, if and only if T3 of lambda is of finite Macaulay type. And it has actually a very nice corollary that let lambda be a self-injective algebra of finite representation type or self-injective finite representation type or finite coin Macaulay type is the same, you know, then T2 lambda is of finite representation type. This means that the Auslander Lange algebra of lambda is of finite, if and only if T3 lambda is of finite coin Macaulay type. Here you can see a nice interrelation between the uh, finite representation type and finite coin Macaulay type. And another corollary that let the lambda be a one Gornstein algebra of finite coin Macaulay type. This is somehow in the direction of the result of Auslander and Ritten that uh, they find some equivalent and sufficient condition for being of finite representation type and the uh, finite, uh, of the Auslander algebra and of the lower triangular matrix algebra. Here, it is a version of a uh, Gornstein homological algebra version. If the coin Macaulay Auslander algebra of lambda, we know that a finite representation type, then T3 of lambda is a finite coin Macaulay type. So, uh, in that case, uh, here we have T3 of lambda, so T2 of lambda is a finite representation type and its uh, contribution to an answer of that question. And uh, finally, we showed that uh, if the lambda and lambda prime be two finite dimensional algebra, and we know that one of them is self-injective of finite representation type, of course, using result of al and Ricard, we can see that the other one also should be self-injective of finite representation type. If we know that these two algebra drive equivalent, then, the Auslander algebra of lambda is a finite representation type if and only the Auslander algebra of lambda prime is so. Okay, and uh, here are some references, and thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>